This is Erica Shablis with Erica Maine, and today's quick tutorial is how to embroider on an apron. Let's do it! This is Erica Shablis with Erica Maine. Welcome back to a quick tutorial on how I do my aprons. I'm using a lint roller first of all, and I'm just getting off all of these little strays that I see before I embroider. I'm going to do this for my mom. She wanted a quick apron. So I decided to just record so you can see. All right, once you have lint rolled that, these aprons, I actually get mine from Avia here in Houston. Um, so I know you can order them, but I love how thick these are. From Avia, they do have a website. Um, but I have a location here that I go to. I'm gonna fold this in half, and then I'm gonna take my cutaway stabilizer and I am going to use the template tool to put down my dots. This is the uh, six by 10 hoop and I am using my NQ1700E. I have done plenty of um, aprons on the PE800 using the five by seven hoop. So that is very possible. Um, here are my dots. I put them all over just so I can line them up. Once that's done, you'll need some spray. My go-to spray, 505. Spray. I kind of missy there. All right, it's folded in half. I'm going to use the dots up here. I'm not pinning these, although I pin my sweatshirts. I do not pin these. I just roll it over and I pin my hoodies too. All right, I'll just press down. I've created a file in a so I'm going to take that on over to the machine. Here's my design in Brilliance. I used a font already in um, my Brilliance software. Let's see what it's called. Um, Zaz something, uh, Magnolia Sky. All right, that one's Magnolia Sky. The star, um, I have a uh, file from Etsy and I will link that in the description. All right, over to the machine. I'm using the pocket to on button, using the USB button, and I'm going to go find that file that I uploaded to my jump drive. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm possibly going to use a gold and a white. Let me change that out. All right, let's go find that file. There it is. I'm going to say set. Um, and edit. I'm going to trace, but I want to go. Let me go do the trace first. too far down so I need to go up some all right to go up I'm going to um, use this arrow key here Oops. okay that's as far as it'll go let's see about where I want it so it's all the way at the top all right I'm going to click this in embroidery from here and then this little scissor thing I always go and change it my tension to about three or 2.8 and now I'm going to start with my gold so I have to switch it out all right here's my gold I actually got this from Mississippi somewhere I don't even know the brand oh here's my dare and then I'm using my dare that I ordered from the, their website. Let me thread it real quick. All right. This is a 17 minute time frame for the gold and it's gonna be six for that one. 
And there are 11,000 stitches in about 23 minutes or so. All right, we're gonna let it roll. Make sure that's down. Green button is ready. Press the button. Be back. I'm so glad I grouped it all together. Good. All right. Six minutes on the stars.
let you see I do have a few um, stitches I need to clean up and yeah it's complete I love it all right my apron is done I am going to take it off of the boop and unscrewing And then on the back of my cutaway, I am going to cut some of this off. I normally fold back so I can see where I'm cutting. If not, you will cut um, the piece by mistake. So be careful. And I'm going to fold this backwards. I'm going to cut back both that. And then I also do the sides. Okay. And then there are some um, little pieces that I like to clean up. So I just go in and I stick those like so. Okay, I'll come back and clean that. And I want to show you the final part. Before taking pictures, I do like to Knit row one more time. I'm taking my rent out of brush, getting a new sheet, and I will knit row everything. It's just for presentation purposes, and especially before you show. These um, aprons from Avia are very thick um, they come with two pockets which I love and it comes with uh, a tie tie in the back and this is adjustable so you can you can adjust it all right let me put it on the mannequin and take a picture Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This is going to be a quick video. I am working on an apron for my mom. Per her request. So what I'm doing is just um, getting off the... Um, oh, I know what you call it.